Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the new concept that is event bubbling. So, what is this event bubbling? Let's try to learn about this one. So, in this video, we will see the flow of each event through the DOM. So, before learning about this event bubbling concept, so we need to learn about the how the event works. Each event works throughout the DOM, through the DOM. So how the event flows through the DOM, we need to learn it. Until now, we have seen the different ways of adding the event listeners. So we have seen in our previous videos and all those things, the different ways of adding the event listeners. Something like uh, on click uh, using this uh, inline event listener and inline property. So like this, we have seen it, right? And the best way we know is by using the add event listener method. And also we know how this one works. So we have an add event listener method. And using this add event listener method, we will work on this one. So now we have understood about this add event listener, but we haven't yet discussed the topic that how the events get fired. So we haven't discussed the topic that how events get fired. So that is the main thing. So how the events fights in the DOM. So we haven't discussed this one. So we just we are writing the add event listener and event is firing. So the add event listener is listening. So like this we have learned it. So let's try to see about with a simple example. So here we are having a simple example. That is HTML body. Uh, and we are having div id is equal to 1. And we are having internally as a children div id is equal to 2. And here we are having two children that is nothing but id 3a and 3b these both are siblings to each other and inside this 3a we are having one button and also we are having the button so if you want to design this one in a tree structure dom tree structure if you want to see it so it will look like something like this so obviously the window is the root so we know that one so the window is the root and next we have a document and next according to this uh, html thing so then we have html then we have a body then we are having div id is equal to 1 inside that one we are having div id is equal to 2 and inside this div id is equal to 2 there are two children that is nothing but 3a and 3b so that is the reason i have added like this 3a and 3b and inside 3a we are having button 1 and also we are having button 2 so hash means it represents the id so we are having like this the tree structure so now we need to understand that we are having the buttons button 1 and button 2 so when i click on this button 1 okay when i click on this button 1 so what will happen so for example let's say that we have added a click event to this button 1 so we have used the method add event listener so something like this so button dot, dot add event listener and we are using the click event and we have written a callback function now when the button is clicked so what will happen so directly will it fire the event no it will not fire the event first the dom will try to so now try to understand it very clearly so now the first the dom tries to find the button capture the button so this is called as a capturing phase okay so this is called as a capturing phase so when you click on a button in an html you clicked on this button or otherwise this button in the html elements you have clicked on this button First, the DOM has to capture this button. So where it is located. So it will start from the obviously from the root of this document. That is nothing but the king window. So it will start from the window. It will go to the document HTML body 1, 2, 3A and button 1. So it will capture it like this. So this is called as a capturing phase. So try to understand very carefully. So when the user clicks on an event, when, when the user clicks on a button, or otherwise not only button so whenever an event occurs so whenever an event occurs first it will go on to the two phases so it will go on two phases that is first one is the capturing phase capturing phase is nothing but catching that particular element okay and after capturing that element it will propagate to the up to the top to the window so this is called as a bubbling phase okay so this one is called as a bubbling phase so now when you bubble means so first when the when this button one is captured so then it can go to here it will go to here it will go to here it will go to here like this it will go on to the top of this one so this is called as a bubbling phase so during this bubbling phase so for this element if it has a click event so this click event is also will be fine 
okay button one click event is fired right so for this one also click event also will be fired this is called as an event bubbling so this is called as an event bubbling the event bubbles to the top of the document that is nothing but window so this is the main concept we need to understand so here what i am trying to tell you is whenever an event is fired or whenever an event is occurred it will go on with the two phases one is the capturing phase and another one is a bubbling phase in the capturing phase it will try to find the element where it is located in the dom so for that one it will start from the window it will go document html body like this it will traverse through the document nodes and it will reach to the element after finding the element of the capturing phase is completed then it will go bubble through that go it will go to the same manner it will go to the top of the document this is called as a bubbling phase so these are the two things you need to understand so now in the next video what we will try to do is we'll try to understand the real time implementation practical implementation of this capturing phase and the bubbling phase i will try to explain you then you will have a clear idea so this is somewhat advanced concept so most uh, most front end developers doesn't know about this one capturing phase and the bubbling phase so, uh, the medium level reports and all things so seniors and all those things they will be able to know but it is important uh, to remember these things so event means automatically directly event bubbling will not happen first capturing phase will happen then afterwards only bubbling phase happens so these are these are the two phases which will occur when an event is hacked so that is the main thing you need to understand it hope you understood about this event bubbling concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you